What's going on guys, Mr. Lux here, aka The Merry Gamer, and today we have another special player lock that we're going to be doing for you guys. We're going to be featuring Byron Buxton. Now, currently Byron is on the injured list. He hurt his hip. He had a hip strain like back in early uh, last month. So he essentially, he hasn't played for an entire month. But prior to that, his April, his numbers were in April were ridiculous. Uh, that actually led to him getting a lightning diamond card in Diamond Dynasty if you play that. You already know how crazy of a card that is to play with, but you know, prior to his injury, uh, he was batting what what was it? Uh 370, 34 hits, 17 RBIs, nine home runs, five stolen bases, and with an OPS of 1.18. Like this is like these stats are still good even now. And he's been out for an, essentially an entire month. So we're gonna jump into this play lock today. We're gonna feature him, but before we do, let's take a look at his stats. Let me remove my grill off the screen for a second. We see his contact numbers, 65 against righties, 78 against lefties, power number 75 and 65 for righties and lefties, uh, vision 57. Uh, let's look over at his, uh, now his fielding numbers is where he just pretty much sets the bar. 99 fielding, 99 reaction, 86 arm strength, 81 accuracy like and he for a center fielder these are impeccable numbers to have i mean you, you, there's very little that's going to get by him or that he can't vacuum up out there in the field so this is one reason why he has an amazing card in diamond dynasty and hopefully he's going to have an amazing performance in this video today and then you see his speed 99 speed i mean come on now and you of course if we get on base with him we are going to try to steal a bag so let's uh let's get back right here into this action so let's get started with this player lock for byron buxton all right here we go the byron buxton player lock episode i hope you guys have been enjoying these player locks i've been giving you i've been trying to be more consistent pumping them out now and i hope it hope it stays that way because you know i'm, I'm going to be rededicating myself to the channel and giving you guys this content who do we have on the mound today? We have uh, Bruce Zimmerman. All right, cool. All right, here we go, Byron. Let's get locked in. My PCI, I'm using the outer PCI with the diamonds in the middle. All right, good eye. And I've said this some of my, in my previous videos that I, when I'm playing Diamond Dynasty and I really, I want to be competitive and, you know, un and unlocking things, I use strike zone camera. But for player locks, I like catcher high. And this is the view that you're looking at now. I just, I just like the presentation of it. I like to be able to see a lot of the field from left to right. It makes, it feels more immersed at that ground level when using this camera angle. So that's why I have two different uh, camera angles that I play with. Uh, but I've actually really switched to strike zone high now because uh, it's much easier to, on higher difficulties. It's much easier to use that. All right, so we're in a one-two count. Let's get focused here. All right, we're hanging in there, making him waste a lot of pitches. So he's a change up. He may come low a little bit. Ooh. That was close. That was close, but good take. Good eye. 2-2. Two, two. Really late decision on swinging at that. Really late. All right, here we go. Ah, got to straighten that thing out. That would have been a home run. All right, come on, Byron. This is pitch number eight. Lock in a good battle. Here comes another one. Trying to All right. This is a good at bat. You know, win, lose, or draw, this is a good at bat. This is what you want to see from your good hitters. Because at bats like this pay off later in the game. And we get a base hit. Great at bat. Great at bat. So now we're on base. So we're definitely going to try to uh, get a base steal opportunity here. Hopefully my uh, settings 
um, for base running are not set to none, so we can actually run on bases. Um, I typically leave my base running set to a uh, lead runner. Oh, I didn't. Hold on, let's let's change this real quick. Uh, player lock, base running interface, right here. Opportunities. Let's do lead runner. All right. I was hoping I had that already set up, but I did not. That was a nice curveball by Bruce. So we have a runner on first. Still a 0-0 score. Top of the third. Oh, too hot for third base to scoop. Byron's in there for... Is that a base hit? Is that going to be scored a base hit? I think so. Because he didn't, he didn't field it. So I think that goes down as a base hit. Yep, it does. Two singles. He's two for two. All right. So, okay, we're winning by one now. Nice shade coming over the field. Ah, just a little bit early on that one. All right, let's uh, try to get a nice hit and get a double or something like that. Show some wheels. Show those wheels that you got on your feet there, Byron. Well, heck, you know, hit one out of the park, you know. I'm fine with either one. But they got to give me something to hit, though. So his best pitch right now, and it's not by much, is his changeup, which kind of is going to be low in the zone. Drop it down a little bit like that. And that is what happens. You get a home run. Byron Buxton with, his, with the shot out here over left field. 414 feet. My bad, me. I know, I know, my bad. <laughs> there we go. Byron Buxton is three for three so far in this game. Home run, two singles. Man. Look <laughs> at that run. Oh, ooh, did you hear the sound of it? Wow. 108 exit velocity. That's nice. We're back in this thing, babe. Oh, man, the Orioles have tied it up 2-2. Top of the eighth, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting it's getting juicy. Oh, yeah, it's nighttime now. It's nice. Good lighting. Yes. Oh, man, I love hitting over the third base, man. I'm too early on these swings. Sorry, hopefully... Uh, okay, well, we don't get another base opportun uh, batting opportunity. However... The Minnesota Twins, we do bring in the win. Byron Buxton goes three for four, two singles, one home run. I think it was a two-run home run, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think in the sixth, we hit that two-run home run. We win three to two. And there we go, player of the game, Byron Buxton. Three for four, one home run, one RBI. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this player lock for Byron Buxton. I hope he comes back really soon because he, he's one of the more exciting players in the league to watch. Uh, especially out there in the field. I mean, he's, I mean, at the plate too, but he's definitely one of those exciting players, those young players. He's like still 27 years old, so he's not like a spring chicken right now, but he's still young enough and he gets the job done. So hopefully that hip strain uh, gets better and he's be able to run and put some weight on him without having any kind of discomfort. And uh, he'll be back out there sooner than later. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this player lock. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and then hit the little uh, bell no notification thing You know the window ding ling. You just heard it. You know what it sounds like Takes you no longer than five seconds to do all three if you have not subscribed to the channel It's only gonna get better from here guys. So uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching uh, Feel free to take a look at these videos that are on your screen right now There's a player lock video somewhere over here in the screen and there's also gonna be my player lock playlist too as well so Anyway, I'm Mr. Lux, a.k.a. The Merry Gamer, and I'm out. Peace.